I don't want to bandy words with you. We'll talk about this tomorrow. No, I want to talk now. Like right now. practitioners we must be interested in moms which is one of the major factor of sterility in men the situation is pathetic because the symptoms always come during childhood or a little before or within the age of teenage now most parents will see the lumps on the cheek of the boy which is the symptom to the development of this health condition. Cases abound where patients ejaculate normally with good erection, yet sterile to reproduce offsprings. Now, in most cases, the, 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 the medical attention has been centered on the woman with the idea that it's the man suffering the challenges. We all know as medical practitioners, there has no recorded successful surgery on moms. So all we need to do with proper awareness in form of this, parents would have the idea and report immediately the CD symptoms and we can administer proper medical attention. Thank you. Briefly. Yeah, sure. Okay. Talking about moms as one of the major factors for sterility in men, what remedy does a patient suffering from this have? Well, none I know yet. Okay. Uh, like I pointed out in my lecture, there has not been any successful surgery to that. Okay. So what then is your advice to the general public? Um, my advice strictly goes to the parents. You know, immediately they see norms on the faces of their wards. They shouldn't resort to traditional treatment, but cause dot adapter. So if the case is detected earlier, the patients can be helped. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Most welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. <sighs> Call me Williams, not Dad. I, I think you're drinking a bit too much. My wife is not complaining, is she? In fact, she loves it. Because when I am drunk, I always say the truth. The entry of a chilled Heineken into my system is the beginning of confessions. <laughs> but it's going to affect your health. I am not bothered if I drop dead. I am fulfilled. I have my grandchildren. And at this moment, I am not afraid of death. It's my wife. No. Let me drop you off at home before I go, okay? No thanks. The night is still young. More bottles and it will make it a great night. You can go. An old trunk. An old trunk will always 
find his way home. Even though he might stagger back and forth or sway sideways. All roads lead somewhere. <laughs> now be careful, okay? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 Alright, so I'll be back in a few seconds, guys. Give me a second, okay? Thank you. I called to you, I called to you, I called to you. <laughs> Don't be long, okay? Who taught you how to pray like that? Okay. Who taught you how to pray like that? My auntie. Wow. Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> Don't get your head too big. Do memorize the it was not your idea. Oscar. Why are you always so jealous of Sean? Is that his fault you have a brain of dough? No. Mm. Suzanne, no. Don't use such foul words on your brother, okay? Oscar, don't mind them. It's your food. Okay, let's eat, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. Everyone, on your food. The food is getting cold. Let's start eating before I actually put you on the dock <laughs> for real cross-examination. Who wants that? No one. Oh, yeah, eat your food. Eat, eat, eat. Go on, eat. Danny, you are here? Yes, I am. Oh. Oh. You have turned our home into a bravery. As an old lady, one from an old man. Look, I go to the bar to drink, you nag. I come back home to drink, you're still nagging. What do you want me to do? Because I'm not comfortable with you drinking like this. You're not comfortable? Yes. Oh, look, I'm busy, huh? I'm just concerned. Sammy, are you upset with me? Okay. What will I do to make you happy? Nothing. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe if you can bring another bottle of Heineken, <laughs> that would do. You're not <laughs> serious. How can you say that? Hmm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, please, my God! <laughs> What's up with you? How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Look at you. Whoa. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? Great. I mean, great. Mm. I thank God. I thank God. You look accomplished. Thank you so you much. Know, so thank God and, that. and that's a cliche of the successful man. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get back into the country? Well, I'm two weeks old in town. You've been two weeks in the country and you didn't even bother to call me. Man, you know how it is. Everyone coming, they want to have a share of your Yankee dough. You know how it is now. Everyone coming home to greet. And I've been running around to build my hospital in this city. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, build your... 
No, you're not going back to the States? No, 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 no. Nigeria is a great country anyone could be happy in. Oh. You are the evidence. <laughs> well said, man, well said. So, you know, <clears throat> let's build together here and reap the harvest together. Well said, man. So how well would your said. weekend be? Usually very busy. I use the weekend to take my wife and children out. Uh, I work so hard during the week, so that's the only time I compensate them. Wife and kids. Yes. Obi is now a grown man with four children who call him daddy. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm opening my house pretty soon. But I think it will be nice when you come home. Let's have a chat. Oh, great. Why not? <laughs> Just uh, give me a few seconds. And then, when you're done with that, mm -hmm. you can do this. Right. Thank you, darling. So now, mom, mom, mom. Yes, darling. I'm through my assignment. Oh. Please, can you go watch Cotton now? Mm, no, not yet. You go, have your bath. Lunch will soon be ready. After then, you can watch your Cotton, okay? Dad. Look, I'm not going to change what your mom just said. You heard her. Go and have your bath. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dad. Yeah, so, um, let's see. Do we have this? Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is it. Hi, Dad. Hello. Hey, boy. <laughs> um, Dad? Yep. Are you a gentleman? Of course I am. Why do you ask? Because my auntie said that only a gentleman will help a woman in the kitchen. Hmm. I like your auntie. She's of course. Smart. Your dad is such a gentleman. He's a sweet father. <laughs> I've only heard of the song Sweet Mother. Who sang that? <laughs> Come here, come here, come here, darling, come here. This is not a song, okay? I'm just trying to let you know that your father is a gentleman, okay? Okay. So have you had your bath? Not yet, Mom. Mm, why not? All right, go ahead. Go have your bath after then you come down for lunch, okay? Hmm. <laughs> He's such a sweet, cute, intelligent kid. Special. You got my man. Man, just sweet, cute. Uh, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I have to help you if you want this food to get. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know what, yeah? What we're going to do is have to move. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Die. 
either go to heaven, they go to hell, God will cause you by fire. Everlasting fire! You're going to be burnt in hell! Come, come quiet! Take her mouth! So blow off your head now! Sean is my favorite song, but I will not hesitate to have Jaguar put a bullet through his brain if you do not tell me right now who their biological father is. Daddy, why me? Why? Because, because you're my favorite son. And when he shoots you for me, then your mom will realize that I'm serious and she will tell me the truth. No, please, please. Dad, please don't hang kill me. Please, please. I'll do anything. I love you. And I love <laughs> And I love you too, my son. But your mom is a liar. Your mom is the devil. Your mom is a liar. I need to know right now who your father is. Mom, please. Please, if there's anything to tell Dad, please just tell him now. I don't want to. Please just tell him. I don't want to die. So I swear. He's your father. I swear. Rest in peace, son. No. No. Don't do it. No! No! What? No! Quiet! 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 Do you know how to recite any nursery rhymes? Yeah. Because the last child I killed recited one for me. <laughs> Can I have one now? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Good evening, 
ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. Mr. Nelson Okechuku Jr., the son of a successful business tycoon and a CEO of a multi-billion naira and multinational firm has gone haywire in an unexplainable psychiatric condition resulting to a homicide. The news as follows. The young business mogul is currently is accusing his family members for allegedly having his wife cheat on him in their 18 years of marriage. Nelson just realized he's not the biological father of his kids. Our reporters report live from the field. We haven't been able to get comments from the police as to whether or not they're tracking the calls of Mr. Nelson to find the location of the kids. They have refused to talk to the press as they are busy trying to curtail the situation in Mr. Nelson's house. I am Joy, and this is DTV News. Yeah. Get me Oscar. <laughs> who is a biological father of the kids. I swear to God, you are their father. After all these years of marital bliss, could you ask him with this? If you ever carry them in your womb for nine months, don't do this to the kids. <sighs> the police are out there waiting to get me. But I won't stop you until I get the truth. I will not hesitate to kill everyone, including myself. Is already dead. Question is, how many lives are you willing to gamble before you tell the truth? I swear, I swear, I swear, it's you. Who else if not you? Who else? Who? Lee. <laughs>
if you knew the pain in my heart, the deep love I have for you, then you will forgive me. Even, even before I ask your forgiveness. But honestly, <coughs> not to blame. <coughs> your mother is to blame. Mom, please don't let him. Don't let me die. Dad, please don't let him kill me. Please. When you cross to the other side. Um. Please tell, tell Sean that I love him. That I really, really love him. No, 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 no! Kill him! Across the bridge, there is no more sorrow. Across the bridge, there is no more pain. The sun may shine across the rainbow. pushed each child out <laughs> and I know they're yours for the sake of the bond between the mother and child just tell the truth just tell the truth <laughs> he's a father <laughs> Far from it. Then what's your point? You had Mops Nelson. 
and you know it. Sweetheart, when are we seeing a doctor about our situation? Hey, hey, hey. We've only been married two years and you're already treating this like it's a big medical condition. We'll be alright. That's what you think. But your parents think otherwise. Babe, I don't want to lose you. For any reason. Oh, you. Will you never lose me. I'm yours forever. Forever, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> I need to see a doctor. All right, darling. Okay. <laughs> Women. her love for grandchildren. <laughs> when will I carry them? When? Soon, Mom. Soon. Okay. Soon, soon, soon. When will this soon come? What? But Mom, honestly, we've only been married for a couple of years. But you act like we're married for decades. God's time is the best, and he'll do it soon. <sighs> I hope she's not bad in you. That I will not condone for love. At all. Um, oh. That would be my decision, not yours. <laughs> uh, okay. Smile. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, everything will be all right, okay? It's just a moment. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, um, we'll start by running some tests on both of you. So we can ascertain where the problem is coming from. You know, the typical African society um, keeps the woman at a disadvantage when it comes to couples looking for kids. But that should not be so. Well, the problem can also be from the man. So it's advisable that we run a comprehensive test. Uh, I don't think I have any problem because um, I have. Um no okay, erection and I have no problems with ejaculation as well. I, I agree with you. I'm not disputing that fact. But do you know a man can have erection and ejaculate and still not be able to father a child? Mm -hmm. Because he might have conditions that help, that makes his sperm to be watery. Uh, no, my semen is definitely not watery. His semen is not watery. No. And yes. can you boldly say that you don't have low sperm counts? Um. I don't totally understand. Okay, let me let me break it down. A normal ejaculation should have about four to five million spermatozoa to be able to fertilize an ovum for conception to take place. And if it's not up to that, then there won't be fertilization. So for us to be able to ascertain the normalcy or normality of your spend count, we need to run a test on you. Oh okay. Thank you. Alright, so I expect you to come back for the test, right? Right, ma'am. We'll run it later on time. Okay. Also, before you leave, you need to watch your diet. I don't want both of you. Very key. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Doctor. So, um, it's been three years of marriage and still no children. I'm getting worried and so is everyone around me. Why don't you and your wife come for a test? I am okay. Let the test say so, not you. When should I come for it? What about your wife? Leave her out of it for now. I just want to come to your place and take the test first, so... Um, if there's nothing wrong with me, then you think she's going to something wrong with me. Oh, probably you don't want her to know if you're the one with the problem. What do you mean? I'm not married. But I know that couples should be open to one another, whatever how ugly the situation may be. You can manage and conquer every situation. Oh. 
so you now start with counseling to a <laughs> you know from the tree but still I just want to come and do the test for it. So I don't know. Okay. I'll be in the office tomorrow by ten AM. You wanna come? So, what's the first? What does the test result say? You see, Nelson, the main aim of marriage is not procreation but companionship. And if couples can understand this, then it will help the melancholy of their inability to procreate. I don't understand. Is that what the result says? There's no problem without a solution. You know, the result says you have mumps. Well, um, what is mumps? Does, does that mean I can't be your father? What, what is bombs? Relax. Take it easy, my friend. Okay. I'm all calm now. What is mumps? Mumps is a medical condition that makes a man sterile. You see, you could have your erection and ejaculation. It makes you have low sperm count. And more often than not, this happens at a very early age. So I, can, I can't give my parents grandchildren. Well, I'm sorry. The answer is yes. You can only adopt children. You can't have biological children of your own. Just a shell. Just a vegetable. I can't have children of my own. I can adopt other children. Useless. I can have my own children. I can only adopt That's them. That's not exactly the case. <coughs> what? What is the case? Nelson, relax. In medicine, my friend, every problem gives rise to medical research. But there may be no surgery that may be recommended now. But miracles happen. And guess what? You are still quiet, you know? Are you saying there's hope for me to still be a father? Hope keeps us going. During challenges, hope for the best. I'm sorry. Under no circumstances would you have a child, given your medical history. I would recommend you come for a DNA test, you know, to prove your claims. Pushing me, you're 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 pushing me. You're pushing me. Me, dear. As a father of those children.
I am sorry, Nelson. The children are not yours. Their DNA does not correspond with yours. I know it. You're nothing but a tool in the hands of the devil to destabilize my marriage. I know my wife, and I know she would never, ever cheat on me. You, on the other hand, Nelson. I thought you were my friend. But now, I know better. I am a doctor, Nelson. And what I have just told you is based on medical interpretation. You are a quack doctor. Quack! You just stick to doing abortions. That's the only thing you're good at. Quack doctor. Quack! Nothing but that. But I'm telling you today to stay away from my family. Stay away. I will find another doctor. Did you ever wonder why Gina left you? Irrespective of all your numerals, escapades, sex, unprotected, and she was never pregnant for you? I really don't understand. I, I don't know how to interpret your, your behavior this day. Nelson, I'm no longer comfortable in this relationship. What happened? What, what do you mean? What, what's wrong? Look, some things are just better left unsaid. I'm moving on. So, what exactly is it you want to see me for? See, I know he's your friend. But I have to tell you this. As a medical practitioner, I think there's something wrong with Nelson. Something like what? See, we've been having sex. But I've never taken in. I think he's important. Have you been pregnant before? Yes. But not with him. Hmm. I returned from the States shocked that you have kids, not one, not two, which defies medicine. So, if the kids are not mine, whose are they? <laughs> they are men and they are real men. Oh yes, I just became Chemo of the real men. My wife just gave birth to a bouncy baby girl! Oh yeah, oh yeah! All drinks on me. Alright, then take care man, take care, bye. Yes, mom. What would you want to have for breakfast? Oh, uh, mom, pounded yam. Pounded yam? Oh, yes. Uh, this is morning now. Don't you think you need something lighter? I don't, know, I don't think so. You know what I think, huh? Pounded yam is a spiritual food. <laughs> it is nice eaten by those who would have twins. I just had one. So, pounded yam for twins, mom. Sleep. I don't understand you. Okay, let me go prepare for it. Let me go prepare it for you. Well, if being ignorant makes you happy, better be. It is my duty and professional obligation to tell you the truth. Truth be damned. I'm going to look for another doctor. I'll do this test again. And heaven help you. If the 
results are different from the one he just gave me right now. I'm going to sue you for every single tablet and syringe in this dumpster you call the hospital. The report reaching us from our reporters in Mr. Nelson's home indicate that the police has not been able to penetrate Mr. Nelson's home. But we take you live to our reporters on the scene of the action. Thank you. Mr. Nelson Ukechuku is really determined to have his entire family wiped out if his wife does not tell him the biological father of his supposed kids. He has commanded his gorilla executioner to have two of his kids killed and he is at the verge of having the last one killed. Is there a father? Daddy, please. It, it, it doesn't matter who my father is. It matters to me who your father is. It's very important to me to know who your father is. I need to know. I have to know who your father is. Daddy, please, I love you. Please don't kill me. I love you too, buddy. I love you so much. I have to kill you to get the truth from your mother, then I will do it. <laughs> Mom, he won't stop, he won't! If there's any other truth, just tell him, please. Sweetheart, how could I ever keep a secret at the expense of you? Very well. Okay. 
Wait, wait. This big smile is a bit <laughs> suspicious. What is going on? I have a surprise for you. Alright, talk, mm -hmm. talk to me. What is it? What is it? Tell me what, what's going on. Maybe talk to me now. <laughs> what is it? I am pregnant again. No jokes. No jokes. What are you doing in the kitchen? What are you doing in the kitchen? Cooking for you, my no, love. No, 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 no. Let me finish it, please. Oh, oh that's go. so cute. I remember when your mother had you. You were the tiniest of the lot. And the youngest. The youngest and the tiniest. You're about 2.5 kg. I was worried for a bit. Because I was, we never had a baby so small. But then you were a warrior from the beginning. Warrior, look at. When you fought hard. And there you are right now, my last child. And then I was so proud. <laughs> I ran around, I told all my friends, hey, I have a new son, another son to carry on the family name. It was a big party, large, massive, DJ, drinks, and everything all around. Nothing was too good for my son. Yeah. And then. Some years later, I've just realized that everything was a lie. Nelson Okechuku is really determined to have his entire family wiped out if his wife does not tell him the biological father of his supposed kids. He has commanded his gorilla executioner to have two of his kids killed and he is at the verge of having the last. Uh -huh. Was I wrong in telling a friend the truth? I need to tell you exactly what happened before you kill yourself. Wait, 
calm down. Calm down, mommy. Come here. Mommy, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. The police is in charge now. Calm down, please. <laughs> Now, you people are all here. Why did you say it's a case of domestic dispute? Ah! No, no, no. We are not here to hurt you. Put the guns down, please. Put Master, guns please down. put the gun down, please. Put the gun down, please. The road for all of us. And talk around. Gentlemen, put the gun down, up. please. Two other children are dead right now. But I will not hesitate to kill you. Hey. And kill myself. No! I dare you! We're not here to hurt you. Two the down. But truth is. Please. I just need to know the truth. Who is the father of the kids? Hey. Who is the father? No. Nelson, put the gun down. I order you! It's your father! It's your father! Belinda, what's the matter with you? Why are you looking this sad? Daddy, Nelson is very, very mad at me. Why? He thinks I am the reason we cannot have children. But, sir, I have run all the tests I should run in different places, different hospitals, and all the doctors certified me okay. There is nothing wrong with me. And he also claims that there is nothing wrong with him. So I don't even know where, I don't know what is going on. Then you guys should wait upon the Lord. Oh, Daddy, it is not easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. Besides, Nelson does not even want to hear about waiting or anything. He just wants me to have babies. Babies, babies, babies. We should be having babies by now. Everybody has babies. I don't know what to do. I, I don't want to lose my husband. I, I love my husband so much. I don't want to lose him to any other woman. I know how it feels. You know what? I would like to show you something. I want to help you guys, but it has to remain a secret between you and I. Under no circumstances must anybody get to hear about this. Okay. Good. Nelson's doctor, you know, confided in me. And he said, Nelson has got mumps. That means. He can never ever father children. What? Moms? Yeah. You, you said you want to help us. Yes, I want to help. How? Come on. You, you know what? You. Why not? Count. So what? Why count your teeth with your tongue? Come on. Ah! Let's approach. Just put the gun down, please. Please. <laughs> you wipe away my children. You are not my biological son. But I've taken care of you all this while, all your life, and I've kept it. A secret. I married your mother and found out that she had you for another man. She said she was too young and naive to know what she was doing. And in my magnanimity, 
I took you in as my own son and took care of you. And now see. See what you have become. Dad. Uh, Call me Williams. Not Dad. Did you have to wipe away my children just to come to the knowledge of all this? Even if it's yours, please. Yeah. We'll fix this. Please, we'll fix it. We'll just put the gun down, please. Mom. It's too late for your sermon. I'll see you there. I'll leave it to your conscience. As for my wife, I'll meet her in the nether region. Just a dream. Yes. A dream. Yeah.